in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen napir nun kanishni may the love of god be with you all how are you all how is your week i prayed for you in the last week and thanks everyone for watching uh, these prayers so today we will begin with this prayer so let us spend a minute in prayer before beginning our sunday prayer service in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen on we go to jerusalem the city of the house of god pilgrim people we seek the lord the lord of the house of god we will read from a psalm we will read a psalm we will read psalm 111 in praise of the lord with all my heart i will thank the lord in the assembly of his people how wonderful are the things of the lord does all who are delighted with them want to understand them all he does is full of honor and majesty his righteousness is eternal The Lord does not let us forget his wonderful actions he is kind and merciful he provides food for those who honor him he never forgets his covenant he has shown his power to his people by giving them the lands of foreigners in all he does he is faithful and just all his commands are dependable they last for all time they were given in truth and righteousness he set his people free and made an eternal covenant with them holy and mighty is he the way to become wise is to honor the lord he gives sound judgment to all who obey his commands He is to be praised forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now we will go to the Gospel. It is taken from John chapter six, verses one to fifteen. After this Jesus went across Lake Galilee a large crowd followed him because they had seen his miracles of healing those who were ill Jesus went up a hill and sat down with his disciples the time for the passover festival was near Jesus looked around and saw that a large crowd was coming to him so he asked Philip where can we buy enough food to feed all these people he said this to test philip actually he already knew what he would do philip answered for everyone to have even a little it would take more than 200 silver coins to buy enough bread another of his disciples andrew who was simon peter's brother said there is a boy here who has five loaves of barley bread and two fish but they will certainly not be enough for all these people Make the people sit down Jesus told them there was a lot of grass there so all the people sat down there were about 5000 men Jesus took the bread gave thanks to God and distributed it to the people who were sitting there he did the same with the fish and they all had as much as they wanted when they were all full he said to his disciples gather the pieces left over let us not waste any so they gathered them all up and filled 12 baskets with the pieces left over from the five barley loaves which the people had eaten seeing this miracle that jesus has performed the people there said 
Surely this is the prophet who was to come into the world. Jesus knew that they were about to come and seize him in order to make him a king by force. So he went off again to the hills by himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So dear friends, so today's gospel we see Jesus feeding 5,000 men. So how did uh, we can correlate with the wisdom of the Elamites? So many symbols over here. You see the bread, the fish, all these symbols were very much relevant in the ancient Elamite faith. Uh, if you see the Kurangun relief, there you find they have depicted uh, their deity along with a lot of fishes around. So if they, if they also had some of the festivals where they offered water, or offered uh, bread, what does this mean? Food and water, again it is signified by the fish. So they are the sources of life and they have understood that it is the divinity which provides them with the same thing as a sign of thanksgiving and gratitude they were giving that to God. In a Christian sense, how we can understand further is that the perfection of that God who gave food for everyone came in our Lord Jesus Christ, especially when he gave himself as a food for the people through the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. So through that means, this gift giving of God is accomplished. So we are seeing that here, it shows the immense power of God to give us anything. God can give us anything that he wants. But at the same time, God is very humble also. You see, the people wanted to make him a king, but he went away from them. So there are some times we would be tempted when we have a lot of people following us and we are doing a lot of miracles and we are giving a lot of healings for people. A lot of people come to us. We may be tempted to form a worldly cult around us, but that should not be the case. We need to leave everything to the hands of God. Jesus did the same, same way we are called to be, to imitate him closer and closer. With all these things, let us have this meaningful Sunday. Now we offer our intercessions. Dear Lord, we pray for all the Christians in Iran that you be with them and you guide them and support them. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we also pray for all the persecuted Christians in all the people, all the regions in the world. May you be with them. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all the researchers who are studying, who are making researches about Elam. That the Lord be with them and his wisdom may guide them. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all the places which have things relevant with Elamite culture, artifacts, their remnant buildings and everything. May everything be protected. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray that as the Elamites believed that God loves us from the womb, may the life and its dignity right from the womb be preserved, be respected, be proclaimed. For this we pray, Lord hear our prayer. Now we will specially invoke Holy Mary, Mother of God. We will say the prayer. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry, the poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping. In this veil of tears, turn to our most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your own Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. We will now uh, generally pray to all the saints. Especially we will also pray to Prophet Daniel of Susa. Prophet Daniel of Susa, pray for us.
Rabban Mar Hormist, pray for us. Saint Aitlis and Joseph, pray for us. 120 martyrs of Persia, pray for us. All the Persian martyrs, pray for us. All the saints from the region of Elam, pray for us. And all the saints of the church, pray for us. We especially remember Prophet Daniel, whose feast we celebrated last week. We especially remember Prophet Daniel. May Prophet Daniel intercede for us and protect the holy city of Susa, that it may be enlightened, it may be filled with the glory of Christ during his second coming. May Prophet Daniel intercede to Christ to bring us more wisdom and strength. Amen. Dear people, now we will offer the bread and water. So if you see in the Elamite culture, as in the bread and water play a significant role, we will offer them now. We will offer water. Bless us, O Lord, and these the gifts which of the generosity we are able to receive through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will offer the bread now. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which of the generosity we are able to receive through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, now we will call upon Jesus, who is present in the Holy Eucharist, especially through this uh, spiritual communion. We will invite Christ our Lord into our hearts. My dear Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Dear friends, at the time we pray for all the departed souls of Elam, we remember right from the beginnings of Elam and all the kings who ruled, all the people who lived during that time and even to the last extinct speaker of the Elamite language and the last remnant member of the church of Elam. For everyone we pray, we now say, out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, who would survive? But with you is one forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord, because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls rest in peace. Amen. So dear friends, the ancient Elamites, they believed that after our death we will be judged our soul will be weighed and we will be judged. How similar it is to our Catholic faith, where, uh, like, you know, there's a kind of tradition which says that after our death, we will be presented by the angel to the Lord God, the Almighty, and we will be weighed according to our deeds. And the Elamites also said that, like, you know, there's a thing, they saw that after the death, we will be accompanied by two forces, one representing no mercy, while the other one representing mercy, meaning he has, God has heard my prayer. So if you see in the scripture also, uh, uh, the angels fought over the body of Moses, good angels as well as the angels who rebelled against. So let us remember all these things and we now especially invoke our guardian angel. Guardian dear, my dear guardian angel, protect and guide me and inspire me and en enkindle me all the time. Amen. Who oh, defend us in our battle. Saint Michael the Archangel against all the evil spirits and all the powers of darkness. Now with all these things, we, uh, we especially pray to Holy Spirit for the wisdom and we will end this session. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle them with the fire of your love. Let us now pray. O Almighty God, who in the fullness of time sent your Son as the promise to all the kingdoms of the earth, and Lord, as you prophesied through Prophet Jeremiah that you will restore Elam, give us the grace to restore Elam according to your holy will, and guide us safely in thy path. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord, 
name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we will sing a hymn to Mother Mary. You, you are seeing there's a behind me, there's a statue of Mother Mary over there. So we will sing that, uh, uh, sing a hymn to Mother Mary now. It's, it's in uh, Elamite, we will see. Zana Maryam means Our Lady Mary. Amma Napir means Mother of God in the Elamite language. We see. Zana Maria Amma Pray for us Pray for us Zana Maria Amma Pray for us Pray May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday ahead and have a blessed week ahead. God bless you. See you in the next week with the prayer service. Amen.